How's it going YouTube? It's Root Junkie here and today we're going to be talking to you about Android 12 also known as Snow Cone and this is finally available on Pixel devices and some other devices variables out there but you can get anything Pixel um, 3 and above um, so we're going to go ahead and go through some of these new features and what's in this version of Android okay what's different basically so um, let's just start with basically settings and toggles and interface because the apps obviously don't change, um, you know, unless you're looking at theming, which we're going to get into. So let's pull down some notifications here. So you can see something that's different, right, is all these up here. Your quick toggles are much more expanded and give you a better, um, more than just an icon, they give you verbiage about what they are, okay? Um, they're also here, they're colored in green but you can actually do quite a few things on here. So let's just kind of go through them. So some of these um, you can hold down, long press, and they'll actually launch you into the settings for that quick toggle, which is nice. And other ones just, you know, turn things on and off, right? Um, something I've seen that's nice that's built in is this. So you can easily get to your home automation controls really, really quickly right here. Um, and you can see I have a couple. I don't use that much home automation. But they're right there, easily to accessible, okay? Um, one of the other things that's interesting in this version of Android is these availability uh, options, right? So you can actually turn off and block your microphone. You can block your camera. So a big part of Android 12 is privacy, and this is where you can actually mess with that. You can also turn on and off your sensors, right? So and this, this one, you have to enable developer mode to be able to do it, but um, then you can get that one as well. See, you can see it even toggling up here on the notification bar. You can see everything's a lot bigger, you know, your brightness and everything. All this stuff is quite a bit larger. So, I mean, easier to see, easier to deal with, I think. But otherwise, the rest of the toggles are pretty standard. You can go ahead and edit all the toggles if you want to edit them or rearrange them. That's pretty, pretty normal. Here's your power button built in. So you have lock, which just relocks the device and requires a password again. It won't, it won't actually unlock with Face ID if you use that lock option. Um, you have emergency. Instantly swipe over, you'll call 911. So you've got those kind of options in here. And then you have your power and your restart. Also, most people don't know this, but you can restart any phone in safe mode by holding down um, on the reboot or the power button. And it'll allow you to reboot into safe mode, which will disable a lot of third party applications and really run just stock in case you're having problems with your device. Okay, so you can see all of that. Um, let's look at notifications. Here you can see notifications, how they're laid out. You can still, you know, expand them. You can actually hold down and you can adjust the notification and do what you want to do with that. Here you've got an expansion again and then you can expand individual ones and you can see these are alarms and stuff like that. There's also a little bit of icon action going on, which is kind of nice. Um, if you have music playing, you can pause, do all that right there, right? It's all built into the notification, weather, so on and so forth. You can also clear, uh, clear all the notifications in one shot or you can swipe them left and right does the same thing. So all the notifications are going. So something you're going to notice is you can see everything I have in here is this kind of like this green theme, okay? And that's probably one of the features I want to talk about next is the theme engine. So we're going to actually go into settings and we're going to go all the way down to, see if I can find it here. Here it is, wallpaper and style. And so this is the newer Android 12 theme engine and basically what they give you to work with. It's not actually a lot, I wish it was a lot more. It could be expanded on, I'm sure, but it, here's how you use it. So um, you can do wallpaper, and this gives you like this color palette that it's gonna colorize everything in for the wallpaper. So my wallpaper is black, so there's not a lot of options. There's more options depending on your wallpaper. They'll give you a different color palette. So that's kind of neat. Um, so I was green, I'm gonna go to, to this like blue color and then if you swipe it away, you can see that this clock is now themed in blue. Um, if you go into applications like your, um, like here, this is now themed in that color palette. Okay. Um, what else is themed? So we can also go into calendar. That's going to be themed in that color palette um, and everything else like that. So the other thing that I want to point out that's kind of cool is this. So this is a widget. So it's this widget. Android S Easter Egg widget. And what you're going to find is this is the color palette that they're utilizing for anything you set in your theme. So let's actually go back into settings and go into our wallpaper and let's change it. So let's do orange. 
So you can see it shows that it's changed. And then if you come back in, this is now the new color palette that they're utilizing. It's kind of interesting to know the actual exact colors if you want to match something or theme something. So I don't know, I just thought it was kind of an interesting thing to, to look at. And then we can go purple and you'll see its color palette is right there. So kind of, kind of cool, right? Um, the other thing you can do, and it does say it's beta, but you can pick this option. And if you saw, go up here, you can see what it's doing. So it's changing all the icons to a different icon style. See? Anything that's stock or mainly Google, it'll change it. And it'll theme it with the theme option you've chosen. So if you like that, you can do that as well. Um, you know, I'm pretty, pretty happy with just this standard blue. And then you can also adjust your grid layout for your apps. Okay? So there's some options there as well. So that's pretty much the theme engine. Um, again, wallpapers are going to give you a little bit more options um, to look at. And then also there's the dark theme and not. You can turn that on and off. I love dark theme. Pretty much always leave it that way. So so there you go. There's, there's that piece of it. Oh, you know what? It's still got the icons. I don't like those. So we're going to come back in, toggle icons off, and now I've got back my stock icons. So yeah, pretty pretty neat. I mean, like I said, this theme is going to be applied to all the Android settings. It's going to be applied to most of the stock Android applications or Google applications on the phone, and, and you'll have that, that color palette uh, showing up, right? And you can see now these are all blue. So the theme engine is cool. So let's go into settings and let's talk about what else is in here in settings. You know, the only things that I'm really noticing that are very different in here um, are going to be obviously the wallpaper and the styles. But the other thing is going to be under privacy. So you now have this privacy dashboard and it gives you some information specifically about location, camera, and microphone. Obviously people are concerned that people are malicious apps or maybe the government is spying on people. I'm not sure. And they want to be able to monitor these things closely. So um, Google has obviously heard that and is trying to do something about it. Now this is only being controlled in software, so it's still hackable. But um, you know, if it was a hardware switch, it'd be different. Some phones do have that, but obviously not uh, Android at this point. But still nice to see they're trying to give you some some control over your privacy. Um, right there in, in the privacy uh, dashboard. You know, you got app permissions, which you guys have seen before, I'm sure. Um, and a lot of other little different things. You can look at your Google history and your ads and a whole bunch of stuff that's nicely organized here in the privacy tab within settings. Okay. And then um, going through the rest of it, there's not too much else that's too interesting, but we can go in here and take a look at that Easter egg we showed you at the beginning. And this is what it looks like. It's basically this clock, and if you put the time to 12, then you'll pop up this screen. And obviously the colors change every time you do it. As you saw originally in the beginning of the video, it was a slightly different color setup. But there you go, guys. That is probably the most um, interesting things that I found here um, in Android uh, 12. You know, um, you do have some things with the, the volume setups you can mess with and, and go around with. Again, I like the bigger slides. I think they're just kind of nice. You can also toggle things here. So it ain't too bad. You also have that option which is right here. Okay, so this is pretty cool because it'll dictate things to you all over your screen when you're watching a video or you're looking at something. So live captions nice. You can also turn that toggle on and off right here. So a couple ways to do it. But there you go. That's going to kind of wrap it up for my overview here of Android 12. This is on a Pixel 4. Obviously, it's like I said, Pixels 3 through 6 and all the variants in between should have this update by now. If you don't know how to sideload it or update your phone or um, you know use Fastboot if you have an unlocked bootloader and update it, I've got videos I'll link down below in the video description on how to do all that cool stuff so you can get this Android version on your phone. So that's going to wrap it up for me, guys. I hope you enjoy this video here on Android 12 Snow Cone. And we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out.